Love is in our DNA. That's who we are. That's what we do. I would definitely call Altered State a lifestyle. It's something not that you do, it's something that you live. We are so much more than a clothing store, and we are so excited for the people that get to be a part of this with us. The idea behind the feeling in the store when you walk in is what does she see, what does she smell, what does she hear, what does she feel? And it's all about inspiring the guests when they walk in. People need to know that you care, and you can't display caring without putting them first. Our core value spells service, and it means so much more than just that word. I love watching customers interact in our stores because it's a place of just peace. It's a place where they come and they get energized. And I go and when I walk through and I meet our store team, they make me feel like I can go run a marathon. One of the coolest things for me to do when I travel is to read in our prayer books and to hear the stories and to hear people's heart because each and every one of us as we're facing challenges, we need somebody there and I want Altered State to be there. That's how you stand out for good. Underneath our name, you always see stand out for good. That means setting yourself apart from everybody else. You are really making a difference in the world. Well, Altered State was founded to give back. That's our primary goal. With every sale, we're actually giving back to either our local community or we're building schools in Peru. I grew up playing sports, college sports. Never dreamed I would end up in retail, particularly women's fashion retail. And it was one of those things in April of 2009, I was a I was running a business out in California and I just recognized that I just not, did not want to do that for the rest of my life. Brian and I had talked about it, if I wanted to be a part of something great, to give back to the community and uh, sold everything, literally sold everything that I could sell at that time. We took every dollar we had, we put it in the business and you know, it's 88 to 90 stores later, the, it's, it's history. I, mean, I don't think I had any gray hair before we started this. But no, I'm just, um, I'm so proud of our people. You can't talk to someone from Altered State for really more than maybe at most five minutes, and they're talking about the give back. What I love most about Altered State is the ability to give back and to really impact the communities where we live and work. Every Monday of the year, we have what we call Mission Monday. It's a way that we donate in our local communities through the efforts of what you produce in that store. So every Monday, we take 10% of our gross profit, and we donate that back to organizations in your community that your store has decided who they want to support. We don't just write a check, we like to get involved and buy supplies, buy things and have the store teams go and deliver that so that you can see the benefit of what you're doing and what your store is doing in your local community. So we just took a trip to Peru and we got to see the children because of the, the wonderful associates and guests in our store that are making a difference. It goes right up there with when my kids were born, I'll be honest with you, because of seeing the impact of what we're doing and what all of our team members are helping build there. I'm talking to this young girl who's in the sixth grade and I, you know, as a typical American, I ask a typical question that you would ask any kid. You know, what do you want to be when you grow up? The girl just starts crying. And of course, I'm looking at the translator, I'm like, oh my gosh, what did I say? The translator explained to me, this was again during the time when the economy had crashed. So they stopped building the school at the sixth grade and there was, there was no seventh grade. So, you know, for a young girl in a third world country with no education, her future is not very bright. And I don't know, without even thinking about it, I just said, well, don't worry about that. We'll build you a high school. And so the translator translates it back to her, and we get on the bus to go to the next town, the next community, and the translator's sitting next to me, and she's like, did you realize what you just said to her? And I was like, yeah, I do. You know, obviously it was a very quiet moment for me, but we did. We partnered with them. We built our first school. The most important thing we do is stand out for good. It's the reason why we get out of bed in the morning. Our goal, and if you want to be successful at Altered State, our goal without question is we want to make a difference in people's lives. What I want to see and help, help communicate to people who are coming on board and take away is, look, you've got to, probably got a heart for giving. In addition to that heart, though, you've got to take action. You've got to be great at what you do to enable us to continue to give back. So if you want to see yourself in Peru on one of these give back trips, you have to be phenomenal at what you do. Altered State really does believe in the power of people and there's such a level of trust and such a level of creative autonomy that Altered State gives you, the likes of which I've never experienced in my retail career before. 
I get to see my handprint every single day on my four walls, and I get to see my handprint on my guests and the experience that they have. We empower, enable, inspire our associates to really deliver the best guest experience imaginable. Our mantra is do the right thing always. In every case, we empower our people to make the decisions to make a difference in someone's lives. So we don't have a rule book. My favorite thing about Altered State is feeling empowered. I am a young buyer and I have only grown up with Altered State. They saw my potential more than I did. And when I have fallen or wanted to fold my tent, they made sure that they were there and would not let me. Altered State really took a chance on me. I never been a store manager before I came to Altered State. I wanted to be the best of the best in anything that I did. And two years later, I'm the district manager. I felt so appreciative. Hard work and dedication is what success looks like at Altered State. If you work hard and you pour everything that you have into it, your opportunities are absolutely endless. Altered State was founded to give back, but to be honest, it's soaring because we have the best associates in the industry. We have the best team members. We feel like a family. We'll stop at nothing to help you when you're in need. And at the end of the day, that makes all the difference, and that's why we're successful. I ask every one of my associates to set three personal goals and three professional goals and look at them on a consistent basis and honestly ask yourself, what have you done to move towards those goals? You set the tone of what you want to do and where you want to go. You know, um, you write your own book. Every decision that we make to bring somebody on board is a decision to make us stronger. We're so excited that you're here. Just wait till you see what we have in store for you. You're not alone You think you're worthless But you're worth it And he calls you his own Made in his image You were made for more You think there is no plan That it's all by chance But don't believe that anymore Every time that you wake up breathing Every night when you close your eyes Every day that your heart Just getting by